Good morning, Central. Happy to be with you here on this Saturday. I hope that your weekend is off to a good start. Um, so you know that uh, with me, um, I've been kind of jumping all over the place uh, since the new year started. Uh, but way back when, uh, before Christmas, I believe, uh, we were going through a study on the book of 1 Peter. And I would like to pick that up uh, again today. Uh, just I'm just going to pick up where we left off and uh, dive right into that book because I'd really like to finish it up with you all. Um, here's the deal. Uh, we're going to start a section that uh, Peter has in his book uh, where he addresses wives and husbands and their role uh, to each other and how they're supposed to treat one another. And if you all only tune in today and don't tune in next week, well, then you're going to think I'm a great big jerk. And you're going to think that me and Peter are picking on uh, the ladies and <coughs> uh, that uh, we're big sexist pigs. So you have to promise me, if you're going to continue with this video, you have to tune in next Friday and listen to the part where we talk about the husbands. Because uh, just in the order of this chapter, wives come before uh, the husbands. Now, the other thing you have to really pay attention to in this book is um, he assumes that you have read the passage right before this. Because the passage right before this is kind of an illustration that he uses. It's a way of it. He, he uses it as a demonstration of how wives and husbands are supposed to act. And they build on each other. And the illustration that he uses is uh, the life of Jesus. Um, he talks about how Jesus was perfect and but and lived up in heaven, but he gave all of that up so that he could live as a human being, just like me and you. Um, he was 100% uh, man while he was with us here on earth. And so um, he talked about, um, in the previous passage, Peter talks about, um, Jesus and um, the role that he plays in our salvation. And all of that goes into kind of an introduction to what we're going to read today. Okay, so if you want to open up your Bibles to the book of First Peter chapter 3, I'm going to read verses 1 through 6. And remember, keep all of, I think the phrase I'd like to ha us have in our mind is how Jesus behaved. And keep that in mind as we as we read this passage. Okay, First Peter uh, chapter 3 says this, Wives, in the same way, now that's that's why it refers back to everyone. So in the same way as what? Well, in the same way as the example I just told you about, a.k.a. Jesus, okay? Wives, in the same way, submit yourselves to your own husbands so that if any of them do not believe the word, they may be won over without words by the behavior of their wives. When they see the purity and reverence of your lives... Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. For this is the way the holy women of the past, who put their hope in, G hope in God, excuse me, used to adorn themselves. They submitted themselves to their own husbands, like Sarah, who obeyed Abraham and called him her Lord. You are her daughters if you do what is right and do not give way to fear. And it's interesting because there are actually a couple passages that talk about the role that wives and husbands um, have towards each other. In this one, Peter emphasizes the fact that wives are to submit in this way um, because the main goal of, I would say, marriage is to make sure that the other person that you're married to makes it to heaven with you. Uh, so Peter says, wives, this is how you're supposed to act around your husbands because we want them to see the example of the kind of life that you live and therefore be interested in finding out about Jesus and knowing more about him. The goal is that both of you arrive at heaven together. Uh, Peter talks about how women are to dress and emphasizes that the true beauty of a woman comes from within, not from hairstyles or fancy jewelry or fine clothes, but it comes from the kind of woman uh, that she is, and I think that's so important, and it's something that we need to treat, uh, excuse me, teach um, our young women uh, to behave. And then finally, um, he gives us an example of Sarah, and he kind of pulls uh, a verse out of the Old Testament where Sarah, Abraham and Sarah are married, and Sarah defers to Abraham and calls him my Lord. Um, so that's the, the example 
uh, that he uses that we are to follow. Now, I understand that these words are not without controversy, um, that it can be difficult uh, to hear that we, that wives are called to submit to their husband really for any reason, much less um, you know, for, for the purpose of evangelism, which is what we're talking about. But promise me you'll come back and listen tomorrow because the role that the husbands have is just as important, I would argue is just as difficult and probably, <coughs> excuse me, gets ignored uh, more than the command uh, to the wives. So my encouragement, this, this is going to go just to the ladies today, all, just to the married ladies. Um, examine your life and see how you do in this area. And think about, this is something for husbands and wives, do you have the common goal of arriving in heaven together? Are you using your marriage to build the other person up and spur them on towards a more right <coughs> relationship with God? That is super important uh, to do, and I would argue is one of the main uh, goals of marriage. That's it for me. My voice is not uh, doing so good today, uh, so I need to uh, quit. But I would love to pray with you all, and then I'm looking forward to seeing, um, seeing you either online or in person this weekend for our Sunday morning services. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would remind all of us that we, we all wear lots of roles. We are, I'm, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a son, um, I'm an uncle, I'm a cousin, I'm a friend. Um, I, we all have these different roles that we, pray, we play. And so often we, we kind of get tunnel vision and we forget that a lot of the roles that we are called to fulfill, um, we are designed for us to gather people together and help them to find you. Uh, Father, especially with this, this spouse relationship with husbands and wives, so much of what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to act, um, who we're supposed to be is to help our spouse to have a deeper, better relationship with you. God, help us to do good at that, to point as many people as we can toward a relationship with your son. It's in his name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. Have a good Saturday. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.